Most of us are aware of the deadliest animals in a certain country or region because these animals are feared around the world. They could easily take the life of a human in the wrong situation, but you don't have to be an apex predator to be dangerous. Because many of the world's ecosystems are so competitive, most animals have to be very hardy just to survive. This means that even prey animals have the potential to be dangerous, and strangely so do our pets. Some of the deadliest animals to humans are the ones that we keep in our homes, and because we come into contact with them so regularly, pets and livestock kill a shocking amount of people each year. In today's video, I will be going through a few stories where animals that are thought of as being placid or harmless have gone on to take the lives of humans. These stories are usually very unfortunate and very rare, and the first animal involved in these stories is a sheep. It's believed that sheep were first domesticated around 10,500 years ago, and the animal that they're descended from can still be found in the wild today. Because of our dependence on livestock, sheep are found in massive numbers today, as they have a global population of around 1.3 billion. This means that there are more than one sheep per eight people, and in some countries, sheep outnumber people. Today, there are more than 200 breeds of sheep in existence, and all of these breeds have different traits and behaviours. Some sheep breeds are more daring than others, but as they are herd animals, they are relatively harmless. The rams are known for being more aggressive, but they're rarely aggressive towards random people that they meet. One village in the southwest of France was home to one notoriously dangerous sheep, and this sheep would attack people at will. Many people in the village were frightened of this sheep, but no one would have guessed that it had the potential to become a killer. One day back in 2016, a 94-year-old man was taking a stroll in the countryside. Unfortunately for the gentleman, he came across this sheep, and the sheep started to do what it always did. The sheep charged the man and pushed him to the floor, and when he was on the floor, the sheep trampled him. His corpse was later found on a footpath near the village, and it was later concluded that the sheep had killed him. Before this incident, there had already been complaints about the sheep, but these complaints fell on deaf ears. If the gentleman was a little younger, he could have fought off the sheep, but at the age of 94, he stood little chance. Unfortunately, this man's death wasn't the only death in this story, as later on the sheep was rounded up and put down. There are a number of reasons why sheep can become aggressive, ranging from illness to old age. Many rightly blamed the sheep's owner for this incident, as these deaths were completely avoidable. The group of animals that are featured in our next story are the rats, and these creatures are usually misunderstood. The most notorious rats are found in the genus Rattus, and these include black rats and brown rats. Rats are among the worst invasive species in the world, but they've been introduced into most countries outside of their native range by humans. Yes, rats are very bad to non-native ecosystems, but we are the ones that have introduced them, so really it's our fault and not theirs. The majority of people despise and fear rats, and they're seen as a dirty pest that should be exterminated. Really, this opinion is unfair, and rats are pretty intelligent creatures. Some of the most intelligent animals are the animals that take advantage of the things that we leave behind, and rats definitely fall into this category. If we were a little cleaner and we didn't waste so much food, then rats wouldn't be a major problem in cities. Rats have been blamed for spreading the Black Death, and this plague killed as many as 50 million people. This is why they're often seen as dirty disease spreaders, but research has suggested that we may have spread the Black Death and not rats. Of course rats spread some dangerous diseases, but their disease spreading abilities are exaggerated. Many rat owners will tell you that they make great pets, but maybe not the rat owner in this story. In the south of England back in 2005, a 66 year old man was bitten by his pet rat. To be safe, the man booked an appointment with his local GP in the hopes of getting medication and cleaning his wound up. After receiving treatment, he returned home to his other pets, which included another rat, four gerbils, two rabbits, two hamsters and a dog. At first, it seemed like the ordeal was over, but a few days later, his arm suddenly swelled up. His partner became alarmed and called an ambulance, and by the time he got to the hospital, he was in a critical condition. He was eventually given penicillin, and it seemed as though he started to get better. He remained in hospital for a few weeks, but a month later his condition deteriorated, and unfortunately he passed away. 
At first, the doctors couldn't figure out a cause of death, but they eventually came to the conclusion that it was rat bite fever. Rat bite fever is an infectious disease caused by two different bacteria, and you can only get it by coming into contact with rodents, or consuming contaminated food or water. This disease is relatively rare around the world, but most cases occur in Japan. This disease is treatable and it's rarely fatal, and the owner of this rat was extremely unlucky. I'm aware that this story doesn't help their reputation, but cases like this are extremely rare, and on the whole, rats make good pets. The group of animals in our final story are wild animals, and to find them, we can head out to the ocean. Whales are among the most widely distributed and diverse group of aquatic mammals, and they can be found all over the world. Some whale species are predatory and hunt giants in the depths, whereas others spend the majority of their life feeding on tiny invertebrates. Even though some whale species are the largest animals alive today, they are very rarely a danger to humans. In most cases, they seem to be very curious of us, and divers are able to swim among them. This is despite the fact that we relentlessly hunted them for decades, and we pushed a large number of them to the brink of extinction. Unfortunately, whale hunting is still happening today, and it's a very outdated and cruel practice. Hopefully it can be completely stamped out in the future, as the majority of these creatures really are gentle giants. Even though whales do not intentionally attack humans, there are certain cases where they can be dangerous. Whales are known to breach out of the water at an astonishing speed, and there's a few theories as to why they do this. Some believe that they are trying to get rid of parasites, and it's also believed to be a way to communicate with each other. When they do this, they are often unable to see what's around them, and sometimes they can land on and near boats. When these animals are feeding, they can also be potentially dangerous, as there have been a few cases where people have been accidentally swallowed and spat out. The unfortunate victim of this story wasn't swallowed, but instead his boat was struck by a whale. This happened off the coast of Sydney in September 2023, and tragically, a 61-year-old man lost his life. This incident was described as a freak accident, and cases such as this are extremely rare. A similar thing happened back in 2022 off the coast of New Zealand, and tragically in this case, five people lost their lives. The species of whale in this story wasn't identified, but judging by its behaviour, it's possibly a humpback whale. It really is a shame that such a freak accident occurred, and of course the whales are not to blame. If you think you know of any other stories that could have made it into this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.